The most famous of all open source licenses is the General Public License, or the GPL, now in version 3. The GPL is published by the Free Software Foundation, and it is a copyleft license, or a, a viral open source license, if you will. In other videos, I've described that in more detail, but very generally, the GPL permits a, a licensee to use the covered software for any purpose in any fashion. It allows one to modify the software, to create derivative works of the software, to publish those derivative versions, uh, to distribute them, to use them in their own business. All of those things are permitted, but as a condition of granting those, those uh, permissions, the licensee is required contractually to agree that if they make the software or the derivative works of the software available to others, if they distribute it, then they must make those available under the terms of the GPL itself. That is, they must provide them along with that license. The new product or the new derivative has to be subject to that license, including the availability of the source code of the software. Now that's been the controversial piece of the GPL because many commercial software companies do not wish to make the source code of their products available to licensees or, or much less to the public at large because doing so would eliminate trade secret protection for their own products. And so they're reluctant to use the GPL as a component or an underlying foundation of their commercial products that they plan to distribute. Now, in response to some of the criticisms of the GPL, the library general public license was first created in the early 2000s, and the library GPL in subsequent versions has been renamed the, the lesser GPL, or the, the LGPL for short. And that license has made clear that when a, a covered piece of software is used by another piece of software dynamically, as a library of functions, let's say, then although the LGPL software, if distributed, must be distributed under the LGPL, the commercial software, which merely communicates with that dynamically and makes use of that software, can be distributed under standard commercial terms, whatever license the proprietor would like. So the LGPL permits one to use the covered software in all the same ways that the GPL permits, but if the software which uses that merely links to it dynamically, and then if they are distributed, the covered software must be distributed under the terms of the LGPL, but the newly developed software can be distributed in closed source or object code form only under terms of the licensor's choosing. Generally speaking, the GPL does permit these things, but it's a bit more ambiguous and a bit more restrictive in its wording, and so the lesser GPL is considered a, a lesser or weaker copyleft license because it does permit this use of libraries or any software in the fashion that the LGPL covers.